Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate iMessage on iPhone in iOS 17. So you recently updated your device to iOS 17 and you want to activate your iMessage, let me show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is open the settings app on your iPhone. Once you open it, you need to scroll down and look for messages. So you're going to see it right under this place. So you can also search for it at the top if you can't find it. So once you have seen the messages, just tap on it. Messages. So just tap on it once you have seen it. Once you tap on it, you need to enable this iMessage. So let me turn it off. Once you turn it off, it's going to be something like this. So you need to enable it. Once you enable it, it's going to take a few seconds to load for activation. It's going to show waiting for activation. Once it has show waiting for activation, it's going to activate automatically if you have a physical SIM or eSIM on your iPhone. So it's going to make use of it automatically or make use of your Apple ID. It's going to make use of your Apple ID and the physical or the eSIM that you have on your iPhone. So if you don't have any Apple ID on your iPhone, this is not going to work. So you need to firstly create a new Apple ID. And in order for you to do that, just open your settings and at the top right here, you are going to see signing. So I have Apple ID already, that's why it is not showing signing. So just sign in and you can now try to activate it again. So another thing I notice is that there are some times that if I'm using mobile network like this, it is not going to activate until I connect to Wi-Fi. So if you try to activate it with your mobile network and it is not working, you can try to make use of your Wi-Fi. So just disable the mobile network and make use of Wi-Fi. And there are some times also that it is going to take a lot of time to activate. So what I usually do is that I'm going to turn off my iPhone. I'm going to click on the volume down button and the power button. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to turn off my iPhone. So once I've turned off my iPhone, I'm going to turn it on again. And the activation process is not going to take any time at all to activate. So once, you, once it has activated successfully, click on send and receive and you need to select the option to start a new conversation. Maybe you want to message someone, you can just select the option that you can use to start the new message if you have more than two because you can just remove any of this. You can remove any of this. You can remove the number or remove the Apple ID. So you guys can see it does it. So you can now start making use of iMessage on your messages application. So if the other person has iMessage enabled, you'll be able to chat without any issue at all. Without with just your mobile data, you'll be able to chat with just your mobile data. But if the other person doesn't have it enabled, you will need to use your mobile network, which might apply e charges for it. Because in my country, you will need certain amount to send SMS. So that's why I make use of iMessage. Just try this out and tell the other person you want to chat with to enable their iMessage. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.